Hi there guys, I am the Tough Man, welcome back. This is Grimsby Borough, we're still here, we're still going strong. Well, we haven't started the season yet, but uh, I, th I think we're in episode 25 now of uh, my Grimsby Borough playthrough. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, give that little like button a click, it does help me out massively. Um, okay, so we are just about to start our first game of the season. This is the team which my guy says is the one to face... Who are they? Who, who, are, my who are my facing? Harrogate Railway. That's the one. Right. So, Paul Key. Um, was he a new signing? I can't remember him playing for me last season, but apparently he gets straight in above uh, Peter Noble. Uh, that surprises me, but uh, never mind. Um, me, assistant manager, knows what he's doing. I hope. Helio Andre, of course, taking uh, centre. Centre forward there, Sean Thompson. As backup, where's the other guy? Is it Where's the one that I bought? Hmm, I, wish I, could, I could swear I bought somebody. Oh, was Sean Thompson the one that I bought? It could, it could well be. It could well be. Yes, it is. Hmm, okay. That's fair enough. Right, let's get on with the game. Um, I noticed that my little arrow key there is flickering slightly, so I hope to God this uh, is not going to be jerky for you guys. It shouldn't be um, in, in 3D. It really shouldn't. If it is, then we're going to have a problem. Okay, let's get on with this. Of course, I haven't done my... Oh, apparently I have. It shouldn't be in 3D because I changed it. So hopefully you guys will be able to see exactly where we are. Right, let me pause the game. Um, should I show the key or extended? Mm, I'll leave it on key and see what you guys think. I'll leave it on goal action also. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it like that for the minute. Should be should be fine. So we are the one in blue. And uh, it looked like that came back off the crossbar there. So that's not a good start. And I am flickering slightly. My little finger here is pointing and flickering. So hopefully it's, it's not too bad. But if it is, then I've, I won't be doing this. Oh, and it's 1-0 already. Great stuff. Fifth minute. Welsh on the right wing there. My inside forward doing his job. 1-0 up against Harrogate. Good stuff. Yes, I do still have this cough, by the way. It's really annoying. I can't do much about it. What, what a run there from Walsh. Well-timed run there just to beat the offside trap. It'd be interesting to see just how my midfield cope, because it is pretty much a new look. Here's Helio Andre. Oh, that is well wide from Helio Andre. What is he playing at? Nobody will know but himself. And again, now we're into the 15th minute. It's a chance for Helio Andre as he goes toe to toe with Walters. Helio Andre takes it around the keeper. It is 2 0. Helio Andre getting his first goal of the season. Good stuff. Great little pass from the midfielder there, but uh, the defender didn't deal with it when he should have done. Helio Andre capitalised on that mistake. Walters getting to it first, but there was a wrong move there. And uh, Helio Andre took it around the keeper and just. Blasted it into the back of the net. 2 0. Okay, it's a free kick. Walsh tried to bend it round. Allen then just skies it. Walsh tried to bend it round the wall. It ended up hitting the top of the wall and uh, came out to Allen who skied the, uh, the rebound. Here's Walsh again. It's Newell on the edge of the box. A shot straight at the keeper there. Pretty, pretty tame shot from Newell. And a quick get out to Walters on the left. Shepard. And then they've got some space down this left-hand side now of Harrogate. Horsey. What a, what a name that is. Nolan. Quickly finding Allen this time for Grimsby Borough. In midfield, taking on people. Helio Andre now. Looks for Allen again. The return there. The keeper parries it over. And it is a corner for Grimsby Borough. So, Liskov whips the ball in, 
Robinson's there, unmarked. Saved by the defender, I think that was. Lamp throws it short to Matthews, gives it back to Lamp, who whips the ball straight in to Liskov, who makes it 3-0. Good little play on the right-hand side there between Lamp and Walsh. Welsh. Walsh? Who am I about? Welsh. And then Liskov on the end of that cross there to put it into the back of the net. 3-0, it's not even half-time for Grimsby Borough. Maybe Whittle could have done more. We'll never know. It is 2-D. Newell clears it now to Allen, who gathers the ball up. He's looking for options. He finds Healy Andre. Is he on side? Yes, he is. He bends it round the keeper, but it is wide. Unlucky for Healy Andre. Andre back to Lamp from the throw-in. Liskov this time. Nolan back to Liskov. Back to Nolan again. Tries to do a long ball there, but he's given the ball away in a dangerous position. Horsey. Still Horsey. Gives it out left to Walters. Walters on, now in the inside. Shepard's entered the box. Sedgemore. It is 3-1. A sniff of offside there, but uh, the referee lets it stand. The linesman still with his flag down. We'll see more from the replay. Here we can see Walters get the ball into our Shepherd. There wasn't it it was pretty much covered by uh I think that's lamp number three there. So that wasn't offside, it was a good decision. Welsh now. Has a shot from there, I don't understand why, but it is high. And uh it is a goal kick to Harrogate. Andre. Newell, on the edge of the box. Still on the edge of the box. Watson back to Newell again. Trying to find a little bit of space, but it comes back. And uh, that's that's put over. Not a very good shot at all there. Uh. And it looks like we're into injury time of this first half there. It's gone. The first half has ended this time. And um, at the minute, not looking too bad. Thomas Liskov, 7.5 there. Pushing for that 300 quid a week. He definitely is. Um, also, Philip Welsh on that uh, attacking mid-right place. Doing doing wonderfully there. Helio Andre getting one assist and one goal out of the three. So, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, good, good game for Helio Andre there. Any changes that I'm going to make? I don't think so. I think everything's looking okay. Let's continue on and see exactly what happens in this second half. One little lapse of concentration for Grimsby Borough. Let's grit Harrogate score one. Uh, Newell now on to Allen on the right, who uh, enters the box now. He tries a little, I don't know if it's a half cross, half shot across the goal there, and just ends up going out for a goal kick. Whittle, wondering what to do with himself. Durham, gives the ball away. Now it's Thomas Lis Thomas Liskov, it is, isn't it? Nolan, finds Allen on the right, just uh, on the left. Newell, to Allen, parry, parries it away. <laughs> and then just belts it out for a Grimsby Borough throw-in. Nolan, Newell, it's given away, Liskov's got it back though, he's Hilly Andre, puts a good ball through for Allen, Allen shoots wide, I mean way, way wide there, he really should have looked up. Right, it's 61st minute, let's go to the tactics and see who needs changing around. We've got most of our midfield line there, who are... <coughs> In the 70s. Um, I think Charlie Allen attacking middle left there. I'll uh, swap him with Helio Andre. Even though he's doing good. I think I'm going to give Sean Thompson a little run out there. Um, hmm. And Boaki is going to come in for... Tommy Newell. 
See if we can just uh, strengthen things up a little bit with Boaki in the centre. Two substitutes done. I always leave one just in case an injury crops up. Here's Walters. Throws it for Harsey. Welsh has got the ball back. Now it's Nolan. He's looking around himself. He can't find anybody for uh, company. Nolan goes for the shot by himself. It is wide. No trouble for the goalkeeper there. Still 3-1, 66 minutes played. Parry belts it upfield out to Nolan. Boaki's got the ball, feeds it back to Robinson and Liskov now on this left-hand side. Puts a great ball over the top towards Andre, but he's held up. But Thompson gathers it. Thompson across the box to Welsh. And uh, he could have done better there, Welsh, I think. But it has gone out for a corner. Okay, the corner with Liskov. Whips it in. Robinson. It is wide. And it's a goal kick. Parry. Belts it upfield now towards Whittle. Nolan gets his head on it. Now there's Thompson on the run. He's still got the ball, Thompson. He finds Nolan just. And uh, he's, Thompson's got it back again. He's gone around the defender and then just absolutely belts it wide from... Uh, that angle there where they really should have just got it on target. So 70 minutes gone. Gunsby looking in control of this match. Thompson goes for the shot again just wide this time. Getting a little bit closer is Thompson. Nolan back to Matthews. Just kicking it around in defence. Now he has Boaki with some space. Andre to Thompson. Thompson's got Watson to his right. Watson shoots way over the bar. Not a good effort at all. Okay, so it's the 83rd minute now. It looks like Grimsby Borough are on course for a victory in their first game of the season. 89 minutes now. Welsh whips the ball in towards Robinson, but it is over again. Just having a little bit of difficulty Grimsby Borough we finding the back of the net. Just need to be a little bit more clinical. But that is the end of the match. It is a win for Grimsby Borough in their first game of the season. 3-1. Well, I'm happy with that match. 3-1. It puts us fourth in the Evo Stick North. Well, wherever we are in the country. We should be North. But, um, yes... We were favourites for that, and you can see there, 26 shots, 7 of them on target. A lot more, well, more possession than uh, Harrogate, and um, less fouls. Not a bad result there for the first game of the season for Grimsby Borough. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the performance of Helio Andre. I'm happy with the performance of Welsh on the right-hand side. Two players there who, who look pre pretty good in that match. Whether they can keep it going or not for the Wednesday game, we'll soon see. Like I said, I'm not going to see these matches back until I actually replay that after it's um, after it's rendered, this video. So I'll take a look at it and decide whether or not I'm going to do it again for the next video. But if, if in 2D it's still jerking around everywhere, um, I will go back to my normal commentary only. So we've got seven messages to go through. Wright makes Waltham Avid debut, I'm not bothered about that. McPerlin, I'm not bothered about him either. So, quality of possession provides victory. Liskov on form, so he got man of the match, did Liskov. Watson has made his debut for us. Uh, Roy Ford is happy. Good. Danby on Grimsby Borough squad. What? I have to congratulate Chris on the win, to, considering the players he has at his disposal. I beg your pardon. We've got a good squad there. Best we can get. Gillette, the best a man can get. Right, so there it is. Confirmation there. 3 1. Marine got a 5 1 win over Ghoul. Wow. 6 1 win for Oldenborough. And a very good match there between Stokesley and Flixton. 
Five four. Moving on. Next is Whitby. In just a few days' time. Well, I never thought I'd be playing Whitby, but uh, here we are. A Grimsby Borough against Whitby. And we're at home for this match as well, which is good. Good to get a good start in the season. Get some money in the coffers. FA Cup qualifying round, second round that is. Are we in that? I don't know. Grimsby Borough now season ticket sales. We sold 28. <laughs> okay, so the sales have remained around the same level last season, which sold 27. Wonderful. You would have thought with two back-to-back -back promotions that people would think, hang on a minute, let's go and watch these and see how good they are. But no, you wouldn't think it would cost a lot for a season ticket for Grimsby Borough. All these people of Grimsby, assholes, they'd rather go watch Grimsby Town. I don't know why. A couple of a backroom advice meeting here. Have we got any more people to scout? We'll soon find out. So about training, where I don't give a I don't give a shit if you're unhappy. So start individual training on these guys, and I've got some people to scout, which is great. I love scouting people. I can find some right right gems in there as well, and some bargains. I can find some bargains. <clears throat> Whitby have lost five in a row, which is uh, nice to know. You watch, so I'll come to uh, Grimsby Borough and to come away with a win just to annoy me. So here we've got some reports. There's a one star and a one star there, so nothing much coming from them too. We've got a couple of more people to scout though, so we're favourites for this. Whitby seven to four. Let's see what's going on with these then. Bournemouth beating Turkey. East Timor. Who the hell are they? Never heard of that country before. Amara, Amaral da Araujo. That are all, are whatever is fucking that bloke there. Bloody hell, somebody's been ruled out for six months. Thorn number three, West Allotment, two. That's interesting. An allotment playing football. They're all old people. So we've got a couple more scout reports here. No, that's nothing to look at. No, absolutely nothing to look at. Don't care what he says about important players and and uh, you know I'm just looking at ability there and one one gold star is not enough for my squad. So here we are against Whitby now. Last match of the day. So now I'm in this screen. I always go back to my squad. I clear the selection. I then ask my um, assistant manager to pick. I have a look through it just to see if everything's okay. I then have a look at the fitness of the players to make sure everything is alright on that on that front. Which, you know, it is. It's not too bad. Thomas Liskov could do with a bit of a a bit better condition, but he needs his uh his match fitness. Uh, okay. Ashley Watson, Nolan and Tommy Newell back in the midfield again for this match. Uh this time Hillier getting a game. Helio Andre. So where is where is what's his face? Philip Welsh there, eighty eight, so he's he's quite right to be uh left out the squad there, severely lacking in match fitness. Best leave him just uh just out of this match. Which is a you know, it's just a shame. But uh, what can you do about it? When players are not fit, they're not fit, I'm not gonna risk them. They seem to have five in midfield, so I could get Overrun, but we'll see what happens. 
Seems motivated, does Tom and Newell and uh, Lamp. So that's that's good. So we start off now against Whitby. They don't look the most attacking side, but they could um, overrun me in midfield. I've got to keep an eye on that. Liskov now puts a long ball towards Hillier. Tries to get past Robinson, but makes the wrong decision there. The goalkeeper comes and doesn't, then comes and doesn't, and uh, that could have ended up in the back of the net. Bad mistake from the goalkeeper there, the new guy. Wood this time is going to whip in a corner, and uh, it is cleared as far as McCabe for Whitby. Manoche. Out towards Joseph, but it's straight out for a Grimsby Bower at uh, Borough throw in. Okay, so we have a corner now. Liskov whipping the ball in towards Robinson, who has put it wide. It is a goal kick for Whitby. Liskov. Andre. He's got to look what he's doing there. Allen. He's going on a little bit of a run here. Trying to find somebody. Finds Hillier. Hillier's got a bit of space. Andre now. And there's Allen with the rebound. It is 1-0. Andre hitting it straight at the keeper. Who parried it as far as Allen. On the left hand side there. And Allen just uh, with the rebound. Put it into the back of the net. It's 1-0 for Grimsby Borough. Hillier did really well against two defenders there. Minocci maybe could have dealt with it, but didn't. Charlie Allen whipping it in the back of the net. Oh, Lamp's picked up a knock, but his condition looks okay. But it is, no, it's too bad of a knock. And uh, Jack Lamp is going to have to come off. So Craig Matthews will be taking his place. David McGinn is in. So that's good to see, actually. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Okay. Key there, that's his name. Key should have been a little bit more decisive because that could have ended up in the back of our net. Matthews, Watson, good ball through to Hillier. What can he do with it? Hillier, oh my god, that could have might as well have just gone for a throw in. Bad, bad shot from Hillier in his in his debut for Grimsby Borough as well. His league debut. Not a good a good shot there. Robinson clears it as far as Allen. Minocci picks up the ball in midfield though. Still Minocci. And the three in midfield I can see are getting slightly overrun but Nolan's got it. Andre goes for a long shot and just messes it up. I'm going to have to make a, a tactical change here. I've got these as attacking which is why these like, these guys are getting a little bit run. Uh, so I think I'm going to switch them to support. I think that might just help out a little bit in midfield. I can see the five and I can only see four people making each and then uh, that's a problem for me. So it's coming up to half time now. And that's the ball through to McCabe behind Liskov. McCabe, Joseph, key with a save, but the rebound is put into the back of the net for Rowan. I don't know how McGinn didn't get to that. Um, I don't know how Key didn't save it, but I will never know because it's 2D and you can't see that kind of thing. Got behind Liskov there. Liskov was too far forwards. Joseph there. There was McGinn. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, and Key just didn't seem to move, seemed rooted to the spot. So it's one all, just going into half time. Okay, looking at this, it looks like Hillier is not having a very good day on the right hand side there, and I was expecting just as much. So let's have a look to see who exactly we've got. Uh, Sean Thompson, can he play there? No, he can't, but I know, I know that Hilio Andre. Hilio Andre hmm. I'm going to move Helio. Hang on a sec. Attack him in centre as well. I think I'm going to move Charlie Allen over to Helio Andre's uh, spot there. And then I'm going to bring him off for Sean Thompson. I'm going to start the second half. I don't think Helio has had a good day. Did I do that right? It just didn't look like it. Hang on a minute. 
No, what have I done here? I was meant to leave. Uh, I was meant to leave Charlie Allen on. Never mind. Never mind. My my mistake. How do I get back to the blue match now? Here we are. Okay, so it's a throw in. Newell, Liskov, Nolan, on the edge of the box. Watson with a shot hits the bar. Helio Andres underneath it can't get to it. Newell. Nolan again, out towards Liskov on the left-hand side. Liskov whips a good ball in, but there's nobody in the right place there. Thompson just not looking alive and started running way too late. 55 minutes gone. One all. The score is. Okay, so nothing's happening. It's still one all. It looks like I'm going to have to change these back to an attacking uh, side here. And hopefully that may, may sort something out there. Liskov with a free kick. Robinson. Is that over? Yeah, it is. it's over. It's a corner though. Liskov's going to whip this one in. Liskov whips the ball in towards Robinson. Minocci, I think, got to that. And it's gone out for a Grimsby Borough throw in. A little bit of attacking now from uh, Grimsby Borough. McGinn with a great ball into the box towards Andre. Now Watson on the edge of the box gets hold of it. McGinn, Watson on the edge of the box. Back towards Matthews uh, who puts it back towards Nolan. And we seem to be back in defence here. McGinn to Andre. He do Andre losing the ball. McGinn gets it back. Nolan. And central midfield. Good ball out towards McGinn. But he's being tracked here. Whips a ball in though. And I don't know if that was a ball in or a shot. But it wasn't good enough. And that is a corner for Whitby. Grimsby under a little bit of pressure from this. Wood. Whips in the corner. Watson. I don't know why he put that over his own net. There was nobody anywhere near him. Only Watson can tell you that. So, Wood again with the ball in. Dangerous position. Thompson put it to the back of his own net as well. I don't get this. I don't know why they're doing it, but uh, they're heading it totally the wrong way. There's three corners in a row now for Whitby. Wood again. Whips the ball in. This time it goes straight the way through for a throw in. It looked like that anyway. Yeah, it is. 80th minute. I'm already in an attacking style, so... Robinson whips the ball across. And that finds the back of the net for Whitby. Joseph with a great header. It looks like he just managed to get touch on it. That took it over Paul Key. And uh, it's 2-1 for Whitby in the 82nd minute. What am I pressing that for? I don't want that. Right. Hillier there. Andre hitting the bar. That's twice now. Watson not doing a good job with that. Hits the bar again. Twice the bar got hit in that move. Two minutes of added time. McGinn, Matthews, lumps it up towards Hillier. Robinson, oh, he's given the ball away in defence there. Matthews looking slow towards it. Key belts it upfield to Andre. Nolan, Newell, could be the last move of the match this. Thompson, can he get there? Yes, he can. He whips it back across the box, but nobody is in the right position to deal with that. It's gone out for a throw in for Grimsborough. This really is probably the last move of the game. Thompson whips the ball across. Good defending there from Whitby. Liskov lets it run. One minute left of added time now. It looks like Whitby has sat back. Newell. Hillier. 
Whips the ball across. Good defending again for Whitby. Two on one person there on the left-hand side. And it looks like that's going to be it now. Unless they could do something from this. They've got uh, ten seconds left. Watson. Nolan. Now he's lost the ball. And that surely is game over now. It is. Grimsby Borough come away worse off in that. And uh, I had a feeling, you know, they've lost five in a row. Um, I saw the five across midfield there and I knew that my team would struggle with that, the way that they've set up. Um, I tried to counter it with, you know, sending them to support rather than attack, but uh, it made no difference. Liskov was in totally the wrong position there and it, they, they got behind him and whipped the ball across and uh, scored, even though I think McGinn could have done better, but never mind, um, these results happen. 2-1, the final score, so 1-1, one, one, lost one. Whitby will be happy, having the first win in six games. A loss at home as well, we always seem to do better away. So Jack Lamp is going to be out for seven weeks after he suffered fractured ribs. So we're unlucky in defeat, apparently. We did hit the bar twice in about a matter of uh, 10 seconds. Hillier makes Grimsby Borough's debut, but it was a very forgettable one. Um, it wasn't... It wasn't very good. And uh, it didn't do himself any justice there. It said average rating of 6.8, but uh, I don't think it was that good. Ford salutes Joseph performance. The guy who scored the winning goal with a looping header of the keeper. <coughs> right. That is all I have time for in this episode, though. That is two games played. Uh, the next one is the Evo Stick League's Premier, uh, Pr President Cup first round against uh, AFC Blackpool. So that should be interesting to see that match. Um, I'm going to take a look now at the quality of them matches and see exactly what I'm going to do about it. But uh, for the minute, I have been the tough man. I hope you've had fun. Please leave a like, leave a favourite if you loved it that much. And uh, if you have a friend who likes your uh, who likes Grimsby Borough, or if you've got a friend who likes Football Manager, then uh, let them know about me, and uh, hopefully we can get a, a bigger bit of a, a, a bigger community going on with my Football Manager videos because I know they're not as popular as as FIFA. And uh, I really want that to kind of change. So if you guys could help me out there, that would be amazing. But until then, guys, I have been the tough man. Stay safe.